Hi, Miss Kleckner. It's me, Diaz. Block one, marine biology. And the marine biologist that I would like to meet is Ruth Gates. Now, Ruth Gates was born on March 28, 1962, in the UK. Um, her achievements, or what she is best known for, is that she is the director of the Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology, and she's the first woman to be president of the International Society of Reef Studies. So, her inspiration came from the documentary The Undersea World of Jacques Cousteau, um, and that's where she really got the idea to study marine biology. <clears throat> she then went on to study biology at Newcastle University, um, where she later earned her Bachelor of Science degree. In 1985, she moved to the West Indies to, to study corals. Four years later, she completed her PhD at Newcastle University on seawater temperature and algal cnidarian symbiosis. She devoted her studies to the biology of coral reefs and methods to prevent coral bleaching. She had established Gate Coral Lab at Hawaii Institute Marine of Marine Biology. The team continues to research the biological traits of coral reef ecosystems. She then had developed an experiment where she bred corals that are more resistant to bleaching and stress. This is important because it could eventually tell them what they needed to know about the coral reefs that would either make them stronger and grow or what would make them die. So as more coral reefs became more resistant to that, that's how they knew that they were able to save them. Um, when she wasn't working, she was an accomplished scuba diver. She earned a black belt in karate, and then she opened up a karate school in Hawaii. Um, at 56 years old, she was sadly diagnosed with brain cancer. Um, she died from complications during a surgery for, for diverticultus on October 25th, 2018 in Kailua, Hawaii. Gates Coral Lab continues to study mechanisms of resistance to climate change and how they'll be passed down to generations. My questions for her would be, will all coral reefs eventually die due to climate change? And what is something that people can do now to prevent the bleaching of coral reefs in the future?